I know that in my heart, it'll lead to something amazing. It's such a sad story because I gave up on spray paint art before I even got started. The first time I've ever seen spray paint art was on Fremont Street in Las Vegas. I was so amazed by how these artists could create any type of galaxy image with spray paint. I bought a bunch of spray paint art supplies, but the supplies ended up sitting in a box untouched for months until I finally threw them out. Buying art supplies and not using them became a really toxic habit. Fast forward to a couple of years later, I decided to free myself on this channel. I decided to experiment with my art, embrace failure, and celebrate the tiniest bit of progress. So what did I do? I went to Walmart. What did I do after that? I created my own spray paint art studio in my garage. Then I set off to create something epic. To be honest, I didn't know what I was doing, but I learned a lot. So I'm gonna share a couple of tips with you today, just in case you wanna try this for yourself. Tip number one, Work in a large ventilated area and wear a mask. Spray paint fumes are toxic and you do not want to breathe those in. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Tip number two, wear gloves. Take it from me, I didn't wear gloves and I had a lot of paint on my hands and it was not a good look. <laughs> Tip number three, don't expect your first attempt to be perfect. Look at it as an opportunity to experiment. Play with your tools, see what you're capable of, and you might just surprise yourself. I know I did. I think it's not bad for my first try. Which brings me to tip number four, try again. This time I used a tutorial and I followed along. And you know what? I saw a significant improvement in my work and I had a lot of fun. If I had given up after my first painting, I would have lost out on all of the fun. In fact, I had so much fun that I decided to make a third piece of art. Oh, and did I mention? I was having a lot of fun. Did you know that Courageous Painting is a supportive community that has helped inspire artists to express themselves authentically? I want to invite you to subscribe to Courageous Painting and become a part of this important movement. Speaking of movement, let's move on to tip number five. When you get momentum, keep going. At this point, I felt like I was in a creative flow. I really got into this one and I layered some of the craziest color combinations on top of each other. But you know what? I didn't care. I was having so much fun and I felt like such a badass. Can I say that? I was just doing what felt right and following my inspiration. These paintings might be some of the most important paintings I've ever made because they're the first of their kind. Trying something new as an artist is a little bit scary because you're always worried that what you're creating will stand out too much from your original work or it won't look good at all. Trying new things can give you new tools that you can incorporate in all of your future artwork. Today I faced my fear of spray painting and I can't wait to see how I incorporate what I learned in my future work. I know that in my heart, it'll lead to something amazing.
I had the brilliant idea of painting over some of my old art. The idea was to have some of the original painting show through the spray paint, but I got a little carried away and I ended up using too much paint. This is just a reminder that failure is a part of the process, and I find that I create some of my worst art before I create something amazing. So if you're in the experimental phase, keep going. There's a masterpiece inside of you just waiting to find a way out. If you would like to see how trying something new can lead to something amazing, go ahead and check out my Painting Without a Paintbrush playlist and I will see you guys next time. And until then, go make some art.